So good morning, all of you. Let's start. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. So good morning. Uh, I think in the uh, in the last lecture we have discussed about uh, what we say bubble sort. Bubble I think. Sort, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. So I have a discussed the code about bubble sort. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. okay. Right. So today I will go for selection sort. So as we have discussed the code about bubble sort and insertion sort, we will discuss now about selection sort. Okay. So I will give give you some time to discuss among yourself in your groups or somewhere and design your own algorithm. So I always encourage like this: you can discuss, you can have a group work, but write your own code based on the idea that you have got. Okay. So after you write, and if you are not getting the particular run uh, uh, with the correct output or something, you can you can send it to your friends or me. So some people are uh, discussing with me also in the WhatsApp. I know that. So you can also send to your friends and discuss among yourself. And I have heard that some people are discussing with their friends, and even though they are not getting, they are coming to me. That's a very fine case. instead of copying this will actually help you to understand everything so if you are trying to ask help from your friends or from the instructor like me or anybody else so you are trying to understand that you want to learn something so this is the this is the first step that you are going in a right way so as vivekananda said that if you have stopped learning that is the day you are starting to fail so he always says that because every day is a learning to us so i always encourage students to learn 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 identify that they have done some mistake and how to rectify that mistake is a very good aspect uh, from the student side this is called teaching learning effect so teaching is not just teaching it also needs learning from the students so this is the way that you can do it one thing is that you first discuss with your friends i don't want to say that you should keep quiet and write down uh, by keeping your head down no that's not a good aspect discuss do team work definitely i will encourage that but do not copy copy is the worst part that you are stepping into a failure life okay so why we always say india is becoming developed country and india is becoming super uh, super uh, what we say uh, super strong in the future days see it has been the notion that in 99 from 99 onwards we have been telling that india will become a super power india still in 2020 is not a super power it poses as if it's a super power the nation where innovation starts to grip itself is the nation where the superpower status will slowly come the nation where the innovation is encouraged without copying or buying then that is the nation where you have a lot of intellectuals who do something for the society and that is the nation called developed nation you can see why the developed nations are developed nations so we are buying all the weapons from other countries we are not innovating a small nation like israel is innovating a lot to defend itself recently we have seen what is their iron dome the effect of iron dome of course uh, not only this there are very small nations which has lot of innovations on themselves but why india is doing like this still we didn't think that we only say mera bharat mahan that's a sentiment but i have seen that people say mera bharat mahan and immediately they will say arre give me that i will copy it immediately then say bharat is not it's it's not a boundary it's actually the collection of people that is we if 80% of the people are copying from 20% of the people when will the innovation develop i don't say everybody has to do on their own there are people who can do without discussion but there should be some people who has to discuss with them and get the output okay so there are some people who needs your help so categorize among yourself 
see start helping from this class onwards so for example there is an x who can do his own program there is a y who has an idea of how to do but he is unable to do the correct program so he can discuss with x i always say this x and y has to help z to write his own program see that is the reason why i am giving that much of time for your assignments two or three days this is the process you need to learn learn by a collect collective output so choose your friends of xyz category discuss among yourself so this is where no, nobody will organize this is called democracy right you organize among yourself help between your people don't form form political groups here form learning groups that is different from this one so the learning groups will definitely help you a lot this is what i want to tell from long back so i have seen recently that not many people are submitting the assignments i know that they will not interact with me directly because they don't want to interact or they are feeling shy but they can interact with you you are of same like minded people recently i have seen my son uh, he uh, he is trying to play with his uh, you know uh, the same age people is not trying to play with adults or uh, any other uh, you know the people who are of big age than him Th their mind also gets developed that's what i thought the more interaction you have between your friends you can do it not just doing in 5 minutes your program and sitting idly and trying to do something teach while you learn so that in turn you learn a lot see rather than just doing the program if you teach something you will have many doubts coming up i had a student from uh, aml i think his name is mohan so he always daily calls me and interacts with me for some other doubt so we have we will have a great discussion between ourselves and you know why he always interacts with me he, he is very enthusiastic to learn something he always teaches some other people in his class so that is the reason he even gets some doubts we daily have an interaction almost all he daily calls me not even my colleagues or my wife also but he calls me to talk something about this i really enjoy that enjoy the technical discussion so i i encourage you to help your uh, friends who are in need see i personally i am a very slow learner when i am in engineering at my first year i never understood the program told by my professor so he is coming to the class he is writing something on the board some program and he is going away that's all so he is a very good professor of course he is a very good programmer also the way he teaches i never understood see everybody has their own preference of understanding as i said many times my own learning of uh, uh, and understanding is different from others so people like good programmers uh, are the people who would catch his teaching used to catch them are some people who are there who never listen to the class but they have learned from their brothers and sisters who are already software engineers they started to write programs very well you know nobody helped us when we asked how it was it is done nobody thought anything to go to a professor it is very shy for us and asking him is very fearful that time to go to his room itself is a very you know uh, something like we are afraid to go to him so when we asked our friends what they used to do is they used to say ah I take this book and copy or something that itself is a wrong program of course if we write something like main this person will say menu people never understood they are stupid at that time you know at first year only four to five people used to do the program and remaining all used to copy and these four to five people never helped us actually they used to do their own programs and give them so that we can copy and paste it and we used to do at the time we had a server so what we do is that we go into his account through our computer using lan that we have developed we don't know programming at first year but we have developed that so we used to copy the whole program and paste it here so we thought that the first thing is that because we came from intermediate i want to just share my experience of how i have thought in my first year i thought that maths physics chemistry are very important 
rather than when, when we consider C programming. Because uh, in tenth class in my school, C programming was there, but we never gave importance to that. It's like a PT period for us, like playing period. He used to come write something on board. We never listened to him. We took it light because at the time those subjects are not important in our schools. The same psychology I have applied for the first year, and by the end of the semester, then we rush to that because. we understood that c programming is very important uh, not like your first semester and second semester in our first year because we are au affiliated andhra university we used to get the whole thing as one year so they will start at august and end at uh, march i think april april maybe we used to learn uh, numerical methods also the professor came and told some philosophical aspects like uh, how to write a program uh, put bracket here and there he never discussed about the logic he never discussed about uh, uh, you know step by step programming and how you can do it showing some animations nothing he came and told how to add a plus b uh, to add a plus b a plus b uh, we we never understood why each line is written there why each instruction is written there he was not clear then when the first time i am teaching programming i thought it should not be like that it should be very clear step by step should be explained when you start programming so i started in c programming explaining why the memory and what is that memory what is that cpu why cpu is used so that people can get some you know uh, you know doubts clarified i learned a lot while teaching i i i i have done my own projects and my program during my masters and my btech end year but still i am not sure i am a good programmer but when i came into teaching i have decided that i will learn a lot than when compared to the masters and btech i think this is for sure if you ask your brothers and sisters also when compared to their btech and masters they will learn a lot while they are doing the job of software engineering so when compared to them i learned a lot a little bit the reason is that i am teaching somebody i get lot of doubts to teach so i might imagine like this so for example i am telling the algorithm now i am i think that if the student asks this doubt how to clarify it then i will learn that how to clarify so i will imagine that you are asking some doubts to me i will clarify myself and then i will get ready for the class this is how we generally prepare and because of this experience i started to do my competitive programming in websites like hacker earth i started with hackerearth.com it's the best programming uh, uh, exercise uh, website where you will have all the test cases given to you and where it has gone wrong this is a starting point that you need to get after that you can slowly go to other websites where the test cases are never shown but they will say just whether you have passed the test case or not so the two websites which i liked is the first one is hacker earth for beginners of course hacker earth is not only for beginners it is also for uh, you know the very great people who do the programming i have seen lot of programmers doing in that and along with that binarysearch.com i liked this one also so these two are very good so i advise you to start with hacker earth and go to binarysearch.com not only for competitive coding your brain will always get activated when you keep your brain active in something so if you are daily swimming you will be becoming a good swimmer and if you just lose for one year you will forget swimming also practice is more important right so if i give some exercises that's for you to understand i cannot give more than one or two exercises right i cannot create more and more it is you who needs to practice yourself create your own things form learning groups discuss among yourself create your own problems and exercises try to solve it if you are unable to solve it i am there to help you so now keep your section as an example why can't you do this india failed as a democratic country because we copied the entire constitution from britain and other countries we never we never constructed our own constitution based on our own environment 
but the ancient india is successful the reason is we have done for our own environments we copied everything including the ship building the reason is that british have entirely destroyed our own indian ship building industry and we depended on the colonial masters still now we are doing the same thing whatever they have started as ship building industry we are just using it but they have destroyed our ancient ship building industry so what is ours is the only thing that is remaining is our language that's all everything is destroyed by the invaders and now it is your generation who has to build if you build something and keep it as an example for this class at least and some leaders from you will come up for this society to build new democracy yes we need the change in this country the change should start from the students itself and from here itself please do it because i have seen lot of assignments are pending it's it's just like i felt very bad like it is 16 28 that's all what about others are you not interested to learn no they will be learn there are many krantis here in the class they lose interest because nobody helps us until third year i never i i was never interested in coding you know i when i see coding i used to fear a lot but in my fourth year i started to build my own project for my library my in house library because i want day to search for a book i have spent around half an hour of time because there are a lot of books and to search among them i took a lot of time so for that i built my own software with the knowledge i got on c programming only c programming then it gave me confidence so i self learned it but do not please ask your uh, friends to wait for some time to self learn help them help many krantis there so they will get interest and one day they will always feel you are the guru for them it's so nice to have that you know i i i see that many students call me still now and say this is because you have explained the doubt on that day i could become a very good programmer it's the most satisfying effect that you get in your life so please do it please form the groups among yourself at least so if there is a will there is a way if you think sir we are all online we cannot do it you can do it if there is a will okay then coming back to the selection sort okay so i have kept a box right now this is very important in selection sort so i have kept a box here and i named it as selection i will tell you why we are selecting it so we select the if we want to have an ascending order we select the minimum number the minimum number we select so that we can put it in the first position that is the reason why we call selection sort in insertion sort we are inserting at the right position in bubble sort we are pushing away the bubbles of either low or high bubbles to aside and keep on decreasing our considered array now coming to selection sort we are selecting the minimum and placing it to the first uh, uh, the position wherever it needs to be kept now we will go through that so i have three var four variables border left hand right hand and selection i have three variables now so i will start my border at minus 1 index okay sir, excuse me sir yeah, are you sharing the screen sir <laughs> okay i'm sorry <laughs> it's yes. not i'm sharing it thank you okay this is what so i have border the blue color which start right this is what we had now the first thing i will do is the border is starting at excuse me just a second yeah the border is starting at minus 1 our left hand will be border plus 1 every time that's why it is at 0 and we also go to the right hand i will tell you when the right hand will be considered okay 
So right hand always will be the left hand plus one. Okay, left hand plus one. See, the left hand is border plus one and left hand, uh, right hand is left hand plus one. Now the first step that you do is wherever the left hand is, you keep it into the selection. Keep it into the selection. Now what you do is, you will now compare the selection with the right hand. Is three less than nine or nine? I want the minimum, right? When comparing, uh, I, I am keeping the minimum number in the selection. So can I keep three in the selection itself? Should I keep nine there? Among three and nine, which is minimum? Three, sir. Three. So I will keep in the selection, nothing to do. Now right hand is equal to right hand plus one. Now compare the right hand number and the selection. Should I keep four, three or keep four there? Three, three only, right? Three, mm. sir. Yes. Next, right hand is equal to right hand plus one. Three, right? Right hand is equal to right hand plus one. What should I do now? One. Three plus one with three, sir. Okay. So, what you do is... Sorry. You have to replace three with one. So you are putting one here in the selection. Next, right hand is, so it, until now one is the minimum number among all the numbers I have seen. Right hand is equal to right hand plus one. No, right hand is equal to right hand plus one. No, right hand is equal to right hand plus one. No, so right hand has reached to the max. And so you have one in the selection. So what you do now is you need to take this one. So Ipurmanam exchange Now you need to exchange three and one position because one already is there. You need to send three to this one. How do you do that? Really, do you want to store? Do you want to store one here or index? Just I want to ask this question. Now we have said that the selection is one, not a problem. Until now it's fine. Now the next thing I need to do is, I need to send three to the ones position and whatever that is there in the selection or the one should be sent to the three position. This is how I'm exchanging, you see? So finally one came to its own position, that's fine. But my question is, how do you know You know that one is minimum because it's in the selection. But how do you know what is the position of one? So any any modification that you can tell me here in this case. Am I audible to you all? Yes. Just tell me, yes or no? Have you understood this question? Sir, your voice is breaking in between, sir. Yes, sir, and it's lagging also, sir. Lagging, sir. You're sharing, sir. Right. So, whatever I have discussed until now, have you understood or should I go back and explain it again? I, don't, I, I think I am not audible to you. Sir, you are audible, sir, but voice is lagging. It's lagging a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Uh, I think my net is not good. So whatever I, I have spoken until now is like that or uh, it is starting only just now? Started just now, sir. Starting just now. 
okay sir from the time when you you were asking the questions at that time it was great okay okay right sir now my question is now am i am i good now am i good now yes sir. yes sir yes sir the question is i am asking like this once we identified that one is the minimum of all the numbers wherever the left hand is we need to exchange with that okay we can send one to the left hand but how do you know that three has to be swapped with the position of one because we stored only one here the first cup here how do you know that three cup has to go to the position of one cup how do you know that the three has to be sent to this position that's what my question so we can store the index of one ah that is correct so we can actually store the index so instead of one here what i can do is i can store the index so what i do is i will i will store the index 4 so based on that you can easily identify right so how do you write the code the simple thing is that when you have identified this So you have your selection, right? Uh, so the selection value is four. So you need to swap with the selection value. Okay. Now what I will do? So based on the condition, after the J reach to the end, that means the right hand reach to the end, you will do it like this: L of left hand. comma the swapping l of selection because in selection we are storing the index right index of the minimum number is equal to the same thing i will copy and put it in a reverse order so that it will become swap comma with this one copy and paste okay so this is how i can do that one because in selection i am storing the index value of the minimum number so now it is very easy for you to understand that the whatever the left hand is pointing to should be exchanged with the index of that particular minimum number so it is easy right so l of left hand is 3 comma 1 is equal to 1 comma 3 so simple exchange will be done the next step that you do is increase the border to zero so what what will be the left hand position now based on the algorithm that i have told you earlier can you tell me what should be your new left hand position index 1 so already we exchanged it right right so left hand is equal to the border plus 1 left hand is equal to border plus 1 what should be the right hand position right hand left is equal to 1 left hand plus 1 that's correct now again put the left hand into this one but instead of left hand what i want to put instead of the number the itself i want to put the index so left hand itself i will keep okay so what i do is i will rub this one so whatever the left hand is pointing to that index i will keep so the left hand is pointing to 1 now every time you will check this way so you will start with right hand now you will say if right hand l of right hand is less than l of selection then what you do selection is equal to right hand did you understand did you understand what i am saying so i am saying like this if l of selection because l of 1 is 9 now is greater than l of these are hints i am giving for you to program yourself mm, left hand left hand if this is done 
then what you need to do then you have to say that selection equal to so selection will be given like left hand this is fine right so you can also reverse the condition if l of left hand is less than l of selection then selection is equal to left hand so what you do according to this so i will rub this one and keep the index 2 here so i will write the index 2 fine and sir yeah tell me so shouldn't it be right hand yes, sir if uh, l of selection is less than l of right hand Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it should be right hand. Yes, that's correct. Right hand. So anyway, I have done right. So it is right hand. Thank you. Right. It should be right hand because this is right. So you are now you are now checking that L of selection initially one right. So I'm I will I will do it again. So it should be one. So L of one, which is there in the selection, L of selection, if it is greater than L of right hand, yes, that's correct. L of right hand. Okay. So now what happens? What is L of right hand? It is four and L of selection. That means L of one is nine. So nine is greater than four. So what do you do? Selection is equal to right hand. So right hand is nothing but the index number. So we keep that index number here. Okay. This is another one. So we keep two here. That's fine. Now, again, what we do, we say right hand is equal to the right hand plus one. Now, you check like this. You check like this. Well, how do you check it? You will always compare with the selection. So, L of selection is greater than right hand. No, L of selection is less. So, you simply do else right hand is equal to right hand plus one. Again, you compare. Yes, this time L of selection, that is L of 2, is less than L of right hand. So, what do you do here? L of selection, selection equals to right hand. Yeah, selection is equal to right hand. A simple thing is that we just put instead of 2, we just put 4 here. So, until now, we got the minimum number. And again, you, you go to the next one. Right hand is equal to right hand plus one. No. Right hand is equal to right hand plus one. No. Right hand is equal to right hand plus one. No. So L of selection is three. This is considered as minimum. Now, what is the next thing that I need to do? This is the one. L of left hand comma L of selection is equal to L of selection comma L of left hand. So according to this, we just change this one. Okay. We changed it. That's fine. Now increase your border to one. And always keep that your border should be less than or equal to seven. Or, or you can say the border is less than the length of the list. Okay. It should start at minus one and it should be less than length of the list. That's your wish. What condition you want to keep. And left hand is equal to left uh, border plus one. And right hand is equal to left hand plus one. What is the first thing I need to do? Whatever that is there in the left hand, I need to keep with that index. So my left hand index is two. So I will write two here. Now again, check the same thing. If left hand L of selection is greater than L of right hand. No, it is not greater. So Kavati, you can move forward. Right hand is equal to right hand plus one. Here also, no, it is not satisfying. No, no, no. Finished. So the simple thing is you increase the border and your left hand will be border plus one and your right hand will be left hand plus one. This is how you got. And the first case that you have said is that when you are coming for the first time again for another iteration, your left hand will be equal to the selection. So what I do, I will I will make two as three now. So this is the selected one. The next thing what I will do here, we got this one right. So we compare L of selection and L of this one. I think no, right? Fine. Go this way. No. And here comes. 
so l of selection is 7 and l of right hand is 6 of course l of selection is greater than l of right hand so according to our algorithm we said that selection is equal to right hand so i need to keep it as 6 of course we got our sixth index for the sixth number okay but i'm writing the index number that is the right hand position so actually the left hand and right hand are equal to the index numbers so you can directly keep right hand selection is equal to right hand next you move it yeah again again do it l of selection is greater than l of right hand of course it is greater so what you do you erase 6 and put 7 there. So I'm following the same conditions which I have written here. So you keep 7 here. Right? And end. So this is end. So what we will do? We will simply say L of left hand comma L of selection is equal to L of selection comma L of left hand. That means we are swapping it. So I will swap it. So I think 5 came to the correct position, right? So 1, 3, 4, 5 increase your border to 3. So your left hand will be equal to the border plus 1 and right hand will be equal to the left hand plus 1. Right? Again, I need to write the left hand is equal to the selection. Sorry, selection is equal to left hand. It is nothing but 4. The index number 4. Now check the conditions whether L of selection is greater than L of right hand. L of selection means L of 4 is greater than L of 5. I think is it, it is S. So we will keep 5 here now because we said selection is equal to right hand. So we keep 5 here until now. Next, increase the value of the right hand. So right hand is equal to right hand plus 1. Yes, selection that means 8, right? So 8 is greater than 6. Now we need to keep 6 here. That's correct. So the selection will become 6 according to our rule because the selection is equal to right hand if this condition is satisfying. Again, increase it. Right hand is equal to right hand plus 1. I think uh, L of selection is less than L of right hand. So that's the end because right hand cannot move forward. So what you do, you simply exchange L of left hand selection is equal to selection comma, L of selection comma, L of left hand. So you keep on exchanging it. Okay, so you have exchanged. And you increase the bar to four here. So this will go to this, this will go to this. And I think by this time you have understood how to do the program. Please do the program immediately. This is also very easy. So I have told you what, what are the variables that you can consider. Border, selection, left hand and right hand. I have given you a few statements of how to do swapping and how to compare between selection and right hand. And based on that, please try to design your own algorithm and please write the program. So I have opened the assignment for you. You can go to the assignment, selection sort exercise, and you can simply open your editor, okay? Write the program here itself. You know how to put the dot .py file and all. Write the program here itself, run it first, run number of times to see how it is working properly. And then you can come back and if you are confident that your program is running, do every activity here. Don't go to ES code or PyCharm. Okay. Only for your testing, you can go sometimes. But do every activity here. Whatever that you are modifying, run it multiple times. And if you are confident, evaluate it. So I have given three times free. Otherwise, it will be minus one. So carry on with your submission. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Aurit, tell me. Sir, is there any assumption or something that we do that two numbers in our list won't be repeated because we never put that comparison equal to, right? Yeah, yes, correct. So, they, uh, here we assume like that. 
but uh, for other exercises i will give you equal numbers also you can you can do it for equal numbers also assume that there are equal numbers if possible and you can do it yeah okay. most probably they will, they will never give equal numbers for trees and sorting also but if they give equal numbers also you should be you should be seeing that how it should be done you can write the code for that also first of all write for these type of test cases then you can write the code for testing uh, equal numbers okay okay sir maybe in the next class i will discuss for equal numbers also it's very less case that we assume that we have some equal numbers but still it is good that if we discuss about that so instead of just greater than if you just keep equal to that's also fine so greater than equal to you can keep and test it so while you are running you test for equal numbers put two nines or two eights and see instead of just writing greater than uh, like i have written right uh, l of selection is greater than l of for uh, right hand so instead of you say l of selection is greater than or equal to l of right hand you test it like this Okay, yeah. Yeah. Everybody can. Not only him. Everybody can test equal numbers also. Let's see what will happen. So I thought if I say equal numbers for the first array, you might get confused. So I made it very easy for you to understand, so that you can slowly go through equal numbers also. How to write the logic for it? It's it's not just very difficult, but it is very easy. Just you keep equal to it will be fine.
uh, Saurit, I think the same logic is applicable for even the equal numbers also. I have tested it. Not a big problem. No need to keep equal to all. Sir, he left the meeting. Okay, okay, fine, fine. So, for others also, you can just see that even if you give equal numbers, the logic which I have explained you will work. Okay, we will meet at 12 o'clock.